Hello, everyone, and welcome to Let's Talk in English on PTS. Get ready to learn something new today. I'm Andrea, and I'm Gabe, and we have a lesson today where you will learn how to talk about family relationships. Today's lesson is called "Happy Birthday, Dad." I wonder why. Well, let's get started with our key words. The first one is photo. Photo. You are very happy in this photo. Our next key word is understand. Understand. Please help me. I don't understand this question. Spend. Spend. My family spends lots of time together and eats dinner every night. Celebrate. Celebrate. Today is Sally's birthday. Let's celebrate. Change. Change. Your clothes are dirty. Please change them. Well, friends, please say these key words with us again. The first one is photo. Photo. Understand. Understand. Spend. Spend. Celebrate. Celebrate. Change. Change. Well, I have an idea. Let's go and spend some time with our friend Eddie.、Yeah. Hey, hey, Eddie. Hello. Hey, and we should celebrate today. Well, we should. What、yes. are we going to celebrate?、Uh, Is it your birthday? No, because we should celebrate because it's September fifteenth. Yes, it's yes. September fifteenth. Let's okay. celebrate. Good,、yeah. Eddie. What's today's mission? Oh, oh, that's a good one. Today's mission is what is today. What is today? Well, today is September fifteenth. But let's go find out the answer to this mission in today's lesson right now. Max comes home from work. He sees Sarah and talks to her. Sarah doesn't say anything to Max. She is looking at their family photos. Sarah is sad. Max looks at Sarah. He sits down next to her. Max understands. Sarah really misses their parents. Yes, friends. By the end of this read it paragraph, we know and we can feel that Sarah is sad. Why is she sad? Sarah is sad because she misses her. Parents, we saw that Sarah is looking at family photos. Yes, she is looking at family photos when Max comes in. Friends, there is a key word right there. The word photo. Say that again. Photo. A photo is a piece of paper with a picture on it. This picture is taken by a kind of camera. You can call that picture a photo or photograph. Yes, a photo is a picture that you can take with a camera. A photo is something that you can hold in your hands and look at. It's always nice to look at photos of things that happened in the past. And Andrea said you can take a picture with a camera. That's what you do. You can take a Photo with a camera, and Sarah is looking at family photos. Well, there is a photo right here of Sarah and Max. What do you think? Well, I think that is a great photo. They look very cute and happy in that picture. Yes. So at least Sarah has her brother close by. He's part of the family. That is true. But Sarah does miss her. Parents. She misses her mother and her father. Well, I think that Max might too sometimes. So he understands Sarah. Friends, let's look at this word. The word understand. Say it again. 
understand. When you understand someone, that means you know how they feel or what they mean. You understand them. Yes, when you understand someone, you feel the way they feel. So Max understands that Sarah misses their parents. He also misses their parents. One way to use this word might be, nobody understands me. Nobody knows how I feel. And sometimes we also feel like we don't understand another language. We can call mom and dad and spend some time with them right now. Wait, Max, what is today? Monday? I forget, what is today? Today is dad's birthday. That's right. We aren't together on Dad's birthday, so we can't celebrate with him. I have an idea. Go and change your clothes. What? Why? We're going to a party. Go change. Welcome back. Well, friends, we see Max and Sarah. They are still talking. And we find out something special about today in their family. That's the answer to today's mission. The question is, what is today? What is today? Well, today is Sarah and Max's dad's birthday. Well, it's dad's birthday, right? Sarah and Max's dad's birthday, but Sarah says that they can't celebrate with him. No, they can't celebrate with him. That's why Sarah's so sad. That's true. Well, friends, we can celebrate as we learn this key word together. Celebrate. Celebrate. When you celebrate something, you show that a day is very special or important. You can celebrate someone's birthday or you can celebrate a holiday. There are many holidays, many days that you can celebrate. Of course, you can celebrate someone's birthday. You can celebrate my birthday. You can also celebrate Christmas. You can celebrate different holidays around the year. And also, you should think about celebrating life. We can always celebrate life. That is true. Well, Max has an idea of how they can celebrate Dad's birthday. Even if they can't spend time with him, they can still celebrate. And we can spend some time with this key word, spend. Spend. When you spend time, that means you use your time to do something. You can spend your time. You can also spend other things. You can spend your money. You can spend your energy doing something. You can spend your life doing something. Some people have one job their whole life. They spend their life doing that job. Well, Max and Sarah will get to spend some time with their parents. We're not sure how, but Max says, go change. Let's spend some time with this keyword, change. Change. Now when you change your clothes, that means you take off the clothes that you are wearing and you put other clothes on. So Max wants Sarah to go and change her clothes. I wonder why. Max, the table is full of food. Well, we're celebrating Dad's birthday. Okay, let's celebrate Dad's birthday. We can have a party with them on the internet. <gasps> oh! Mom and Dad can see us through our webcam. Yes. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Dad. Dad. Happy birthday, Dad. Well, Max had a pretty good idea. We see at the beginning of this conversation, Sarah says, Max, the table is full of food. That means there is a lot of food on the table, if it is full of food. Yes, we can use this phrase full of in other ways. You can say, my bag is full of books. That means there are many books 
in your bag. Or this park is full of people. There are many people playing in this park, and the table is full of food. They are going to have a party. They are going to celebrate on the internet with mom and dad. Now this is an interesting way to celebrate. Mom and dad can't be there, but they can be there with a computer. That's right. So they will have a party for dad on the internet. Conversation replay. Max comes home from work. He sees Sarah and talks to her. Sarah doesn't say anything to Max. She is looking at their family photos. Sarah is sad. Max looks at Sarah. He sits down next to her. Max understands. Sarah really misses their parents. We can call mom and dad and spend some time with them right now. Wait, Max. What is today? Monday. I forget. What is today? Today is Dad's birthday. That's right. We aren't together on Dad's birthday, so we can't celebrate with him. I have an idea. Go and change your clothes. What? Why? We're going to a party. Go change. We're celebrating Dad's birthday. Okay, let's celebrate Dad's birthday. We can have a party with them on the internet. Oh, Mom and Dad can see us through our webcam. Yes. Hi, Mom. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Dad. Dad. Calendar phrase. Andrea, do you have brothers or sisters? Yes, Gabe. I have one older brother. Do you have brothers or sisters? Yes, Andrea. I have one older sister, one younger brother, and two younger sisters. Why do you ask? Because that is today's calendar, calendar phrase. phrase. Today's phrase is: Do you have brothers or sisters? Do you have brothers or sisters? If you want to know if someone has some brothers or some sisters, this is a good phrase to know. Do you have brothers or sisters? I do. Well, friends, this is a great way to talk about someone's family. That's right. Now let's go and watch today's calendar phrase skit. Do you have brothers or sisters? Do you have brothers or sisters? Do you have brothers or sisters? Yes, I have one brother. He lives in England. Wow, does he study there? Yes. Do you have brothers or sisters? No, but I want to have a little sister. Well, you and Jan can be sisters. Jan, do you have brothers or sisters? Yes, Marie is my sister. Well, not really, but I call her my sister. Yeah, we're sisters. Do you have brothers or sisters? Do you have brothers or sisters? Great. Now it's time to find out what today's question will be. Hey, Eddie. Yes. Do you have a question for us? Oh, I have. I have a great question. Do you want to hear it? Yes. yes. Okay. Here it is. Do you spend time with your family? Why or why not? Do you spend time with your family? Why or why not? Well, I don't spend a lot of time with my family right now because they live in Canada. But I do spend a lot of time with my husband and 
He is part of my family. Yes, he is your family too. Well, friends, how would you answer this question? Answer it today. Thank you for joining us here on Let's Talk in English on PTS, where learning, learning English can, can be fun. fun. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye -bye.